ladies and gentlemen, Reshma Sojani. So, uh, full confession, I am obsessed with women and girls, so I'm so excited to be in this room with all these amazing women, and I want to thank um, Women in News for this, for, for recognizing me. So, I wake up and I think about this issue every single day. And in, 19, in the 1980s, 37% of computer science graduates were women. And today that number is 12%. So as, think about this, um, as this industry has become more prestigious, as you make more money in this industry, we have pushed women out. And it's not about aptitude, right? Because we know our girls are smarter than boys in math and science. <laughs> and it's not about interest. But we as a culture are pushing girls away. In the 1970s, 10% of doctors and lawyers were women. And today that number is 45%. Why? I decided that I wanted to be a lawyer because I saw uh, Kelly McGillis in The Accused and she blew me away, right? <laughs> And it was Kelly McGillis and the accused, and it was Grey's Anatomy, and it was L.A. Law, and it was all these powerful women that we saw as doctors and lawyers. And girls said, you know what? I can be that too. But when it comes to STEM, and it, when it comes to the T and the E in STEM, what do we see? What do we have? We have the doll that says, I hate math, let's go shopping instead. We have Forever 21 where I can walk in and buy a t-shirt that says I'm allergic to algebra, and don't even get me started on HBO's latest Silicon Valley show or the Staples ad. Right? We are constantly telling our girls that you're not good enough, that this isn't for you, and they are listening. And why does it matter? It's not gender equity for the sake of gender equity. It matters because every single problem in this book, sexual violence, human trafficking, safe births, eating disorders, every single one of them can be solved by a girl who codes. And I don't just say that. I have seen it. We started out with 20 girls in 2012, and in 2013, between our summer immersion programs and our Girls Who Code clubs, we will teach 3,000. And do you want to know what they're building? They're building algorithms to help detect false positives in breast cancer testing. They're help building apps to fight bullying. They're help building glasses so that you can help people who are hearing impaired actually hear and listen movies. They're thinking about the issues that affect their community and their world, and they want to solve them, and they will. If we, if all of us in this room, commit to making this not an issue, but a movement, because I truly believe that this is the most important domestic issue of our times, and I am proud to say that because of our advocacy, because we have been so loud and fierce, almost every company in America this summer is going to have 20 young women in their workplace, and that includes Facebook and Twitter and Intel and eBay and Intuit and Verizon and AT&T and Amazon. We are going to change the face of technology. And in doing so, we will change the face of the problems that women and girls face around the world. So thank you. And I do want to say one thing. I didn't bring um, my significant other. I left it at home today, but I brought my other significant other. People always say to me, why is Girls Who Code everywhere? It's because of this young woman, Charlotte Stone, who's our communications director, who was just a powerhouse. And I'm blessed to have her part of our organization, and I want to thank you.